is a mix between a blue and gold macaw and a green wing macaw. He was actually found after Hurricane Andrew, and he's been with us ever since. Mackenzie is over here with Amigo. He's a blue and gold macaw. He's also a rescue. He came to us and was involved in a court case several years ago. And then on the far end, we have had Lindley join us. A lot of our guests ask if this particular bird is a baby, but she is not. Widget is a chestnut fronted macaw or a severe macaw, and she's simply a smaller species of bird. And she came to us originally from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, what our ladies are working here are different stages of free flight training. So, what you're going to see is Amigo and Mackenzie, who are kind of starting at the beginning. All right, being a rescue bird, we don't know a lot about Amigo's history. He does know how to fly, however, he's usually quite delayed from when he actually is asked to fly to then admitted. And he's one of those people, if you're like me and you're superstitious about certain things, and in order to do something, you have to meet all of these goals, that's Amigo. So if like the wind's a little off, or maybe your shirt's the wrong color, he might not be encouraged to fly. So one of the ways that we can acclimate him to these different things is simply bringing him out in a bag here in front of you all. As an ambassador animal, he is very comfortable going to different locations at the zoo and around different people. We just lack that confidence when flying. So this is an excellent way to kind of get him used to the scenarios where he might be flying and just focus on making it very strong and positive. You saw Mackenzie giving him some little massages, some rubs, and she's going to be giving him some treats as well. Our parents eat a diet of fresh produce, carrot pellet, but when they're training, they'll get extra yummy things like potentially different types of seeds. Now, Calypso and Winter are a little bit further along in their training. You saw Calypso do some beautiful flights, one of the biggest goals for him. Quick reflexes there, Lindsley. For Calypso, one of the goals that we're working on for him is being more comfortable in different scenarios. So trying to think outside of the box and fly him from different locations um, of the amphitheater to be comfortable in all those scenarios. And Widget just gave us a demonstration of what she's working on, and that is patience. Widget really enjoys flying, and she has a very strong relationship with Lindsley over there. So for her, the hardest part isn't the actual flight. It's waiting patiently until she is asked. You can see how that could become a little bit startling or dangerous for her if we're not paying attention. She could fly right past us. She might land somewhere where we don't want her to land. So we want to make sure that we're training that patience as well. So even though she does some amazing flight, we want to make sure that she is waiting until asked. And Amigo's giving a little wave goodbye out there. What a good boy. So again, you got to see kind of different levels of that pre 